Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in long data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on Data Limur regarding top five artists using PostgreSQL. Uh, the difficulty level of this question is medium and this question has been asked in Spotify interviews. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, assume that there are three Spotify tables containing information about the artists, songs and the music charts. Write a query to determine the top five artists whose songs appear in the top 10 of the global so song rank table, the highest number of times. Okay, so basically there is a table called global song rank, which has ranking, let's say one, 200 or 1000, whatever does not matter. So in this table, within the top 10, which all artists appear the most number of times we need to return the name of those artists, the top five, right? And let's uh, from now on refer to this ranking number as song appearances. Output the top five artist names in ascending order along with their song appearances ranking. Not the number of song appearances like how many songs were there, but the rank of the song who has most appearances, right? The order of the rank should take precedence. So for example, Ed Sheeran's song appeared, if like, this is an example, Ed Sheeran's songs appeared five times in top 10 list of the global song rank table. Of, and if this is the highest number of appearances, so it will be ranked first. Bad Bunny's would be, uh, you know, ranked second if, you know, the songs appeared in the list is equal to four. Okay, two assumptions. If two artist songs have the same number of appearances, the artist should have the same rank and it should have it should be continuous okay so what do these two assumptions you know say about it if you have been following this table you might have guessed that okay this is a question where we need to use ranking right now there are three different ways to rank row number rank and dense rank now this first assumption if two artist songs have the same number of appearances the artist should have the same rank what does this this signify that we should not or we cannot use row number because row number even if there is you know tie it uh, assigns a new rank right so we cannot use row number the things that are left to uh, which we can use is rank or dense rank the second assumption says that it should be continuous if you use rank it will be skipped so it should not be skipped so the only ranking function that is left is dense rank so we need to use dense rank in this now let's look at the tables right so there are three tables artist table two columns artist id and artist name and this is an example ed sheeran and drake songs table two columns song id artist id another example global song rank table right three columns day song id and rank right and this is an example okay so first of all what we need to do is we need to make sure that whatever we are you know inquiring about in this table is within the top 10 so obviously this row will be eliminated or like let's exclude them so now these three rows we are talking about right now let's see okay so song id uh, 45202 belongs to whom belongs to artist id 101 and 101 is ed sheeran right so basically ed sheeran his song appeared two times in the top 10 of the global song song rank now 919960 is you know 19960 belongs to artist id 120 which is drake right and this has appeared once right in the top 10 we are excluding this right because this is rank 15 we only need to keep top 10 right so the output should be ed sheeran rank 1 drake rank 2 right and that is what we have in the output so basically since with the inf entire information is scattered in three different tables we need to merge the information and how do we do that we perform joins right so from so let's start from the global song rank table because that is what we are you know really caring about right based on that in these ranks we need to filter we need to you know order perform rankings etc etc so from this table called global song rank right let's alias this as g uh left join you can also join this using inner join right but let's do left join if you want you can do inner join not a problem left join the another table called songs aliased as s right on which column we can join song id right 
song id we have common in both of these tables so we write g dot song id is equal to s dot song id right now for each of these songs we now know the artist id but in the output we need the artist name then we can perform another left join right so left join another table called artists right alias as a on s dot artist id is equal to a dot artist id okay now this will you know join all the information and it will keep all those if you look at here right so rank can have integer values from from one to one million right so we are only required to keep songs that are within top 10 rank right so we can make sure that okay after you perform the join whatever you are uh, you know getting so the spelling of global is wrong so whatever you are uh, getting right then only keep those rows where the rank rank column belongs to global song rank table so g dot rank is less than or equal to 10 let me go ahead and run this let's see what we are getting right so here we have all the you know columns and now if you look at it right so ed sheeran's uh, you know songs have been in the top 10 rank five times right similarly drake twice similarly bad bunny four you know five six so bad bunny should be before uh, ed sheeran in the list right so once we have this then what we can do is we are not required the you know uh, which song was up appearing in the you know song rank and all that we require that okay for each of the artist name how many songs have been in the top 10 list so how can we do this we can group by the name of the artist and then count star right so basically count the number of rows that will basically give okay for this particular artist the songs appeared these many times in top 10 rank so we can go ahead and write group by right group by artist name is in artist table right so a dot artist name right return a dot artist name and then count star as number of times right so number of times in top 10 let me run this let's see what we are getting right so now if you look at it right so drake twice katy perry three adele four bad bunny six ed sheeran five and all that so you have all this right now what we can do is now based on these two columns right we can make sure that okay order the by number of times in descending order and then perform a rank right so what we do is let's so store this entire thing in a common table expression so with cte as and then this entire thing goes into parentheses right and now from this common table expression right let's perform that ranking so select both the columns and then we discussed we need to use dense rank in this condition because of the assumptions right dense rank and then over clause because this is a window function so we must write over clause and then order by number of times in descending manner right because the most should go at the top and let's alias this as like whatever is in the output so this is artist rank right so artist rank right uh, okay so once we have this let me go ahead and run this let's see what we are getting so now if you look at it right so bad bunny because number of times maximum number of times so artist rank one ed sheeran two uh, adele and lady gaga four right so three and three katy perry drake chris brown and all that so we have the artist rank now we are only required to keep the top five artists right so top five then what we should do is let's store this thing in another common table expression so cte2 as right and then this again entire thing goes into parentheses right and now from this common table expression 2 let's keep only those rows where artist rank is less than equal to five because we need to keep top five and now if you look at the assumption here so if there was you know a tie then we need to make sure that it is not the top five that is you cannot do dot head five right 
you need to make sure that the rank is less than equal to five you know you don't need to keep the top five rows you need to keep the top five artists and if it means there is a tie then you need to keep them both right okay so where artist rank is less than equal to five then what you need to return is you only need to return the name of the artist and artist rank so you return artist name and artist rank now here is a funny part or a tricky part right so here the question says top output the top five artist names in ascending order right along with their song appearances ranking right so you might go ahead and write okay order by artist name you know ascending order but if you look at it the order of the rank should take precedence so it should be first arranged by artist rank in ascending order and if there is a tie then by artist name in ascending order right so that is why we need to write order by artist rank first in ascending order and if there is a tie then by artist name okay let me go ahead and run this so now if you look at the output right so you have bad bunny ed sheeran and adele and lady gaga they remember they had four number of times their songs appear in the top 10 list right so the artist rank is three for both but it is you know arranged in ascending order by the artist name similarly for Katy perry and drake right so the total number of rows in this is six but these are the top five artists right okay so this looks good let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yeah accepted uh congrats so yeah uh everything looks good and this is how we do it so not a very difficult question all we had to do was you know we merged the entire information at one place and then since we were only required to you know look at the top 10 uh, ranks so we made sure to filter that out right and then counted the number of times uh for each of the artists uh the songs were there in the top 10 list and then based on that we you know performed a decreasing order of ranking and then made sure that we are only keeping the you know where wherever the artist rank is less than equal to five and then uh, return the name of the artist and rank in or order of artist rank in ascending order and in case of a tie artist name in ascending order so yeah, this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or more efficient way you can think of to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and until then i will see you guys in the next video